Ford Racing is a racing video game published by Empire Interactive for the personal computer and the PlayStation video game console. The computer version was developed by Elite Systems and released on November 2, 2000, while the PlayStation version was developed by Toolbox Design and released on January 29, 2001. It was the first game in the Ford Racing video game series, and received mixed reviews. On May 21, 2009, Ford Racing was released as a downloadable PS1 classic game on the PlayStation Store, allowing it to be played on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Portable. Gameplay The computer version of Ford Racing features 12 different Ford vehicles and 10 race tracks, while the PlayStation version has 11 vehicles and 8 tracks. None of the tracks are based on real locations. The player begins the game with a Ford Ka, while other vehicles are unlocked as the player progresses through the game. Two models exist for each vehicle for the years of 1997 to 2000, for a total of eight different versions of each vehicle. In the game's career mode, the player must win races to receive prize money, which can then be used to upgrade vehicles. After a race, the player may choose to watch a replay, which can be viewed from different camera angles. The PlayStation version includes a multiplayer option, which is absent in the PC version. Reception On Metacritic, the PlayStation version has a score of 53, while the PC version has a score of 51, both indicating mixed or average reviews. Several reviewers criticized the game's poorly conceived AI controlled drivers for ramming the player's vehicle off the road. David Zidurko of IGN reviewed the PlayStation version and criticized its graphics, and standard music and sound effects, as well as the track designs. Zidurko noted that the vehicles resembled their real-life counterparts, but that they don't even come close to the vehicle designs offered in the Gran Turismo series. Shahed Ahmed of GameSpot reviewed the PlayStation version and criticized its graphics as well. Ahmed also complained that only dull and slow-moving vehicles are available at the beginning of the game, while faster vehicles and cool tracks need to be unlocked. Ahmed wrote. Despite strong control mechanics and an advanced physics engine, the game has many flaws keeping it from being a truly appealing product. However, he wrote that fans of Ford vehicles may find some novelty value in Ford racing at its bargain price. Lori Emerson of GameZone praised every aspect of the PlayStation version, and wrote that the game is a winner on all counts. GameZone's Rita Courtney praised the PC version for its gameplay and graphics, but wrote that additional instructions would have been helpful, stating, They are just a bit scarce for those who aren't familiar with racing games. It also takes a 3D accelerator card, which can be a problem for a lot of folks that have older systems. Other than that though, it's a lot of good racing action. Dave Woods of PC Zone criticized the game's controls, graphics, and lack of multiplayer, and concluded, We were expecting a fairly good ride with Ford, but we've been cruelly disappointed. Scott Moore of Sports Gaming Network praised the graphics and variety of vehicles, but criticized the lack of an in-car view while driving, calling it one of the game's biggest drawbacks. Moore also criticized the music and sound effects, and complained that each vehicle handled in the same way. Moore concluded that Ford Racing is a good idea gone wrong. Clayton Crooks of Allgame reviewed the PC version and wrote, Unfortunately, the graphics may be the only strong point of the game, as the playability leaves a lot to be desired. Built as a racing simulation rather than arcade racer, Ford Racing was supposed to be about realistic physics and car handling, but the game falters terribly in this respect. Crooks also considered the music to be repetitive and mundane. 